Coronation Street has kept viewers on the edge of their seats for years, but nothing has been more shocking than the recent twist in Joel Deering's dark storyline. In today's episode breakdown, we're diving deep into the gripping turn of events that finally led to Joel's downfall, and the pivotal role played by Betsy Swain. Stick around as we unpack every nail-biting moment. Earlier this week, the writing was already on the wall for Joel. The truth began to unravel when Dee Dee Bailey and Detective Sergeant Lisa Swain started putting the puzzle pieces together. They'd uncovered the shocking truth. Joel had purchased an illegal, labour-inducing drug with the intention to spike Lauren. But here's where things take an unexpected and sinister turn. Unbeknownst to them, Lisa's own daughter, Betsy Swain, had reluctantly helped Joel get his hands on the drugs. Betsy's involvement wasn't just an unfortunate coincidence. She tried to blackmail Joel, desperate to get out of the situation she had been pulled into, but Joel wasn't going to let that happen. When Betsy threatened to expose him, Joel's true nature was revealed. He physically attacked her, silencing her for the time being. From there, the story only intensified. Betsy, racked with guilt, struggled with whether or not to come clean to her mother, Lisa. The tension grew even more palpable when Betsy paid a visit to Lauren's baby Frankie in the hospital. Lauren spotted Betsy during her visit, but before she could confront her, Betsy fled. The mysterious visit left Lauren confused, but Max Turner quickly put two and two together. He realised the girl lingering around Frankie's hospital bed could only be Betsy Swain. And that's when things came to a head. Max and Lauren cornered Betsy outside the factory, desperate for answers. But Betsy, consumed by her guilt and fear, refused to explain her actions. Thankfully for Betsy, Carla Connor stepped in before things escalated. She warned Max and Lauren to back off, telling them to do one. But inside, Carla knew something wasn't right. Back inside the factory, the weight of what she'd done finally broke Betsy. In a heartbreaking moment, she broke down to Carla confessing that she'd done something terrible, something that could destroy lives. And that's when Betsy made the decision to confess everything to her mother, D.S. Lisa Swain. She explained how Joel had manipulated her, coerced her into ordering the labour-inducing drugs, all under the false pretense of helping a vulnerable client. Lisa's shock was palpable, but this was the break she needed. Finally, she had a solid link between Joel and the drugs intended to kill Lauren's unborn child. The walls were closing in on Joel, but he had no idea. Back at his flat, he was caught completely off guard when Lisa showed up. This time, not as a mother, but as a detective with a warrant for his arrest. Joel tried to wriggle his way out of it, but Lisa had one final ace up her sleeve, a secret recording. Betsy had recorded Joel ordering her to buy the drugs under a false name. There was no escaping now. After his arrest, Joel was able to make bail, and for now he's walking free. But with the evidence stacking up, it seems his time is running out. Is this the end of Joel's dark and twisted plotting, or does he have one last trick up his sleeve? As always, Coronation Street delivers the drama, leaving us all guessing what will happen next. Will Joel finally face justice for his crimes, or will he find a way to slip through the cracks yet again? One thing's for sure, the residents of Weatherfield won't forget this dark chapter anytime soon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more in-depth recaps and exclusive Coronation Street content. See you next time.